Yo, what's good? It's your boy PB3G and welcome to Blurred You Heard the Network. Hey yo gang, what if drops this Wednesday, tomorrow on Disney Plus? This is not a drill. The fandom is excited for this new MCU show. In this video, I'll get into what exactly is what if, some of the characters, and how what if connects to the rest of the MCU overall. I'm also going to be doing weekly review videos for every episode of what if, so make sure y'all subscribe to my channel so you know when them videos drop, because if you ain't gang, you can't hang. Now, let's get into the video. What exactly is what if? What If is a comic book anthology series published by Marvel Comics whose stories explore how the Marvel Universe might have unfolded if key moments in its history had not occurred as they did in the mainstream continuity. So if you're not really understanding what that means, let's take a origin story like Bruce Banner, Incredible Hulk, and you say, it, well, before I get into the what if, if, what, if you're not familiar with Incredible Hulk's origin, He's at a testing facility. They're testing gamma radiation. His friend Rick Jones is on the testing site. He goes to run out to save Rick Jones. He saves Rick Jones, but in the event of him saving Rick Jones, Bruce Banner gets caught in the blast and becomes the Incredible Hulk. Now, what if flips that on the head and says, well, what if Bruce Banner couldn't get out to out the facility to save Rick Jones and Rick Jones got caught in the gamma radiation blast and became the Hulk? And then what if would continue that story there? Just to give some of the people that are not familiar an example of exactly what you guys are getting from this show. Now, let's get into some of the characters because there are a lot. We got Uatu the Watcher. Now, if you're not familiar with Uatu from the comic books, he's just part of this alien race that watches key moments in the Marvel Universe. So, like, for an example, what he does, he showed up in the comic books at Black Panther and Storm's wedding because it was such a monumental event that he showed up and he recorded it. That's basically what he, that's all they are, scribes, people that record Marvel Universe history. This character will be playing, will be played by Jeffrey Wright. Not familiar, he's playing uh, Jim Gordon in the new Batman series, Jeffrey Wright from Westworld. I got a video on him on my channel, link will be in the description. So um, he's basically going to be voicing the Watcher for this season and I believe season two of What If on Disney+. Plus. So he's not, and the, with the Uatu, he's not allowed to get involved in any type of fighting or changing anything. He's only there to watch. So in this show, he'll be narrating each episode. Now, let's get on to a very interesting character. We have Captain Carter, played by Halle, uh, voiced by Halle, Halle Atwell, excuse me, I always mess her name up, Halle Atwell. And um, this What If is the first episode and it's basically uh what if steve rogers didn't receive the super soldier serum and peggy carter did now instead of her becoming captain america because she's british she becomes captain britain now captain britain is a character that you mcu heads that don't aren't familiar with the comics haven't really seen haven't seen at all yet but She's carrying something very interesting called the Sword of Might. And I love that because when it comes to Cap Captain Britain, they get two choices before they receive their powers. The, I believe it's the Amulet of Right and the Sword of Might. Now, usually the, the, the people that they want to become Captain Britain, you, they usually want them to choose the Amulet of Right. It's usually the, that what means is it's like the, the good guy pick. They try to stray away from the pe the characters that pick um, the Sword of Might because it's more violent. So the fact that she has the Sword of Might is very interesting. I feel like we're going to see a very uh, a more aggressive Captain America, I guess you could say, even though she's Captain Britain, aka Captain Carter. And there's a lot a lot going on with this character. They're saying that this character is a main focal point for this season and season two. And they're saying that this character will appear in live action, most likely in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, played by Halle Atwell, because she's been playing the character in the MCU this whole time. So this is great. I'm, I haven't even seen the episodes yet, and I'm fiending for this character. Um, I think they're going to do a lot with her. Uh, I can't wait. This is the first episode we'll, we'll be seeing Captain Carter. So 
On to the next character, we have the Iron Man Killmonger story. And that's basically what if Killmonger saved Tony in Iron Man 1 instead of, you know, Iron Man building a suit and figuring out or getting out of that situation on his own. Now, not much is known about this story, so this one will be very brief, but I'm very interested because they're talking about some of these characters spinning out of this show and joining live action. So maybe, maybe we'll get to see Killmonger as... Well, a, mo a variant of Killmonger as a version of uh, Black Panther. Because if you see some of the, um, the the previews for What If, you see that it's the Killmonger in the Black Panther suit. And we'll explain why he's going to be Black Panther instead of T'Challa in a second. So, basically, that's all we know about the Iron Man Killmonger thing so far. I think that's later on in the season, so we'll just have to wait for that. But episode two involves Ravager T'Challa. Like this one is very interesting, also because T'Challa doesn't become Black Panther in this version. He gets picked up by um I forgot the character's name with the whistle from Guardians of the Galaxy, and instead of him becoming Black Panther, he's taken off the space instead of uh, Star Lord. You know how Star Lord's origin. They just give it to T'Challa here. And we'll get to see T'Challa go into space. And what if he was Star-Lord and a part of Guardians of the Galaxy? I wasn't really a big fan of this one. But they're saying that there's going to be at least four more versions of T'Challa in What If this season. Or between this season and the next. I'm not sure what it was. So I'm very interested really to see who T'Challa is going to be playing after this too because I'm not really a fan of the Guardians of the Galaxy thing and I just eh, uh, T'Challa and Guardians of the Galaxy without the Black Panther suit is like eh but this um this character is also being voiced this is the last time we'll be hearing Chadwick Boseman's voice so I want to pay that episode a lot of respect it's episode two so they're there's that on that. We have so much other stuff. It's like, um, I think there's a Thor version. What if Thor, I guess people are saying it's party Thor. Like, what if Thor didn't learn his lesson in the first movie and, and he got his hammer back anyway and he's continued to be kind of like childish and, you know, just how he was in the beginning of Thor 1 before he earned Milmir back at the end of the movie. So that's what they're saying. I don't know how true that is, but that's what we're kind of like getting the feel from that character. Like this whole what if thing is crazy. It looks like they're setting up a multiverse team of Avengers from across the multiverse. Maybe, maybe I think Captain Carter is ascending, uh, assembling, excuse me, a, a multiverse Avengers team to handle a certain type of situation. It might be the collector because if you could see in the trailer, it looks like they're fighting the collector or something like it's like a whole team of them fighting the collector so maybe that's like the last episode they have to deal with a version of the collector now all of this is spinning out of the season finality of loki the season one finale of loki so if you don't know sylvie breaks the timeline she kills uh the he who he who remains and that sends the the multiverse in an uproar and it breaks off in the branches and what if is pro is going to be dealing with the result of that it's not a mistake that what if co is coming after loki season one so from what if we'll get more spinoffs it seems like they opened up the whole new animation studio for what if and other animated marvel projects so some of these characters might be getting their own cartoons we might be following some of these characters on their own journey now one more character that i want to talk about that's very interesting is dr strange supreme they're calling him this character is super is probably one of my favorite characters that i've seen so far from the trailers um basically it seems like what if dr strange was a little bit more darker you know, not so, you know, he's he's kind of a, a, a D word in the movie, but he's not a bad guy. So this is like a more doctor, a darker version. And it looks like this darker version will be fighting off against our version of Doctor Strange and what if. And this and this Doctor Strange Supreme is also rumored to be showing up in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. So I cannot wait for that 
And I cannot wait to see that episode with Doctor Strange. Even Jeffrey Wright spoke out about that episode recently saying that he even had to take a step back when he saw the Doctor Strange episode. So that's basically... Some of the characters, it's not all the characters. We have Gamora as it looks like a version of Thanos. We even have Ultron with his whole body as an Infinity Gauntlet. I'm very interested to see what that looks like. So there's a whole bunch of characters. I think you guys should, if, you, if you're if you on the fence about seeing What If, I definitely think you should check this show out. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Are you planning to check out What If? This is canon, so... This is going to have a lot of things are going to be involved in this show that's going to be taking place in live action. So if you're an MCU movie fan, you might want to check out this show just to not be missing out on anything. So let me know in the comment section below what you guys are going to do. You're going to watch it. You're not going to watch it. Let me know.